Hello, and welcome back to Skyfire. Now, you may recall in the first episode, I didn't do a huge amount. I got myself um, a few silkworms, uh, made some of the basic tools. Um, and then and then something kind of happened. Uh, basically, I didn't really, I decided I didn't really want to do the series much anymore. But oh, I'll stay creative for now. Um, but I, because I thought, well, I've only got this tiny little platform and there's nothing here. But as you can see by this huge thing above, I did actually do some building. Um, and it's interesting this series because I'll be honest, I never actually um, oh, I get the fucking ladder now. Did I actually make a ladder? Well, luckily I'm creative. But yeah, I was going to make a ladder. Oh no, I did. Let's just go right there. So, I, mean, I don't really talk about the uh, uh, the people. Um, and especially I wouldn't talk about uh, Jaded because obviously, you know, she's a girl and shouldn't really talk about her. But, but to be honest, it's sort of like, oh, I could do it without that. But at the same time, I do want to just mention it. Um, it's probably a mistake, but um, the problem is, is that I have to do like, there's like mods like Jaded Spawn and Jaded Lad and I want to do all of them. Um and probably I want to do them in consecutive orders just to sort of get them out of the way. So, and I thought I just mentioned this in part two because part two is a little bit more obscure. But I watch, you know, I think Jay is pretty cool, and I like, um, you know, I just wanted to be like, you know, try and like be normal about it. You know, I think Jay is cool. Um, I also like, um, I actually watched these thermal expansion videos because, because honestly, I thought thermal expansion was a bit shit, um, and I thought mechanism was better. Um, based on my experience, and uh, and obviously that vacuum feature in a, uh, because I think I don't think I quite understood everything that the uh, servo did. Obviously, I've never even really looked at it in any of my episodes, but obviously I knew about it. Um, I just need to get rid of uh, this this thing. Um, but yeah, so there's that really. Like, um, yeah, I mean, and it looks like thermal expansion is the way to go. Um, and it seems seems it seems pretty cool. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Like, I wasn't really planning on it being that way, um, or expecting it to be that way. But I just have a thing, especially with the vacuum system. You can already do some interesting stuff. Now, anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So, is what I created. I've actually created several worlds recently where I've literally I've just been just creating stuff. No, no, that's not the one I want to do. Um, but yeah, like I say, you know, um, um, so the purpose of this episode, anyway, I've created this section here of land. So this is going to be like the uh, sky block. Well, so what I was thinking of doing, maybe I could just do it survival, but just say, well, I've got all this stuff uh, in a moment. I think it looks quite cool. Um, and I've put down lots of different stuff. Uh, like a lot of different stuff is yeah we've got some ethereal glass this is interesting because I was wondering what's going on with the uh, uh, blazing uh, pyrothium and I think in this one because as, as I've actually made several massive worlds like this in the last couple of days um, well not massive that's really not massive but it's still fairly substantial um, but yeah so we've got various different liquids here um, and this is sort of a thing that I was thinking about, especially um, if we're going to look more into thermal expansion. I'm going to want to be considering um, uh, more liquids, basically. And you kind of have to consider more liquids as well, because just there's going to be more. They're going to have uh, different behavior in terms of how fast they're going to flow, um, in terms of what direction they're going to flow. I'm sure, I mean, maybe there's one that flows east or west. Or I'm sure that sort of thing will come in. Um, or you know, and there, and then no doubt there'll be even more complex rules in terms of um, can this uh, can it flow down a two two you know a two it's like it's, it's like um what I did just recently with the parkour um, there's these sets of rules for how you can do parkour you can't make you know you can't make like a six block jump but you can make um you know like three across and one up or I think it's two across and three up so it's just trying to remember those sort of um, kind of vector quantities um. um in terms of the movement you can get um well vectors all right so what we've got here uh what i actually want to do um i have got a lot of stuff here um most of these are uh, there's a lot of um you can see there's a lot of uh, harvest grass trees 
Um, and I've put a couple of great woods down. I've put a couple of silver woods down. Um, there's a genetic machine. I wonder if I can actually, can I not go into the interface like this? I may as well actually go into, why well, keep on doing time set? Well, I may as well do that again, actually, now I'm here. Um, yeah, I mean, I may need tools, actually, to go. Uh, um, you know what? I think I can probably get into, any, I always thought of this. Can you get into every interface with, um, um, let's see, Ethereal Bloom? Okay. I, I was under the impression I could actually just uh, get there straight from... Uh, I think there's a way that you can literally just... You don't actually need... I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that. You can just get there straight from the... Uh, from just looking at it. There's actually inter interoperability in the... Uh, I can't remember it though. This is an extra tree. It's an apple tree. It's an interesting texture. I've, now I've got a lot of textures. This fancy slime brick. Um, and and to be honest, the stuff I've done with the chest is is quite extensive. There's an acclimatizer. So I'm just going to go through, look at a load of different blocks. So that actually has got an interface. Uh, so it can alter the humidity or temperature tolerance of be using certain items. To activate a health tool, to hold down tab key and mouse over control. Except bees. Acclimatizing agents. Interesting. So the acclimatizer changes the humidity. What did I have here? Ah, yes. It takes Billcraft power. Okay. There's the fissure with the uh, classic... Uh, and the planter with the uh, classic... Um, MFR style, yeah, but I, I think also I have to use uh, RF the whole time. Um, and honestly, well, I mean, if you think about it, flux, <laughs> flux is flux. You know, it doesn't it doesn't get much better than that. So yeah, we have got the veterinary station. I'll probably do some more work with this. This these sort of things all around, so I can. So I w I want to be in a position where I don't have to actually load any more chunks. And hopefully, um, you know, just uh, just play around with the mods. Really, that's all I uh, would like to do. Hmm, auto brewer. Block operator, no interface. And like I said, I literally was just running around looking at this stuff. That looks like, uh, isn't that a, a matrix controller? Whatever it's called. Block placer. Uh, we looked at that. No. What is the power requirements? It still says the same. This stuff always reminds me of, um, you know, you know, if it takes no. twenty days for one man to do this job, then how long will it take? You know, um, you know, like three guys or something. I've always, I always found that. Um, the interface reminded me of that particular um, that's a block breaker as well. That's a problem. Did I actually do something in here? I may have actually put something in one of these. I can't actually remember. It doesn't look like it though. But I want to do for it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, then here is all the jabber barrels. They do some interesting stuff, jabber barrels. I haven't looked at barrels at all. One thing's for sure though is that they pop they seem to pop up when I was going through all the liquids, there seemed to be a jabber barrel for pretty much everything. Um you know, what's over here? So literally this is just you know, this is literally just a, a pre constructed thing that I've made here. But I just look at everything. And you still yeah, I wanted to make this big fucker, this thing. I've because to be honest, I looked at ME quite a lot before. I know obviously you got um, applied in 62 now. Um uh, and whether that will be an again a huge thing, like uh, the first one was, I'm not sure, but uh 
Yeah, I definitely like to do that thing so that way you can use it like a, I think it's sort of like use it like a logistics request it, uh, system. I think that's kind of how it works. So that's apple tree from extra trees. I like the fact that um, extra trees. So I'm trying. I should actually watch my old video. We got here heated redstone generator, um, ender generator. So these these are. Uh, I get a feeling these these are exclusively off RF, so they probably work very well um, um, with thermal expansion. So I probably try and. Uh, uh, oh wow! It's already got five hundred thousand RF. I'm not sure about this one. I think I put them all down. And funnily enough. Um, it might not happen here, but I guess you get a little thing telling me that I've had... Oh, I just destroyed something, that's a shame. Um, the fish slaughter. This is Mary culture now. Sawmill. It's just interesting to look at the... Uh, Mary culture looks pretty complicated. This seems to be on already, but I don't think it is. Some sort of um Oh, what's it called? Mystical plinth. Yeah, funnily enough, yeah. Yeah. I mean I wasn't really that interested in thermal expansion, but I remember really liking the uh the Omni Wrench from uh Omni Tools. If you search Omni Tools you'll get a nice uh uh surprise in the results in the number one spot. Well, it probably won't be that nice for you, but it's nice for me. Um, now we have X Nihilo. Nihilo? No, I can't, I'm not going to try and do that. Um, so this seems to be how the whole system actually works. So I was thinking, how the fuck are you supposed to even get anywhere? I suppose you probably do just get... I'm not actually sure how this version works because the hardcore quest mode thing is not actually here. Um... But yeah, so there's um, gold ore sand. Got some nickel ore sand. So these are all the different metals we've got. Uh, lead, iron, copper. Um, I mean, I could, to be honest, I could look at the recipes, but I'm going to do that another time. I'm going to do that in a different video. And uh, um, because that's the thing. I think I feel that there's three different. I mean, one thing's for, for certain, rote learning is something that I really, I believe in much more than other types of learning. I think, you know, you can't just do critical thinking and, and trying to build systems all the time. You have to do rote learning most of the time, really. Um, it's kind of the way that I see things. And even though, of course, it's, uh, um, you know, it's got very negative connotations. Oh, you know, just parent fashion, etc. cetera. Um, rote learning is still actually very important. Um, because, I mean... Obviously, it's more exciting to think about programming and, you know, and, you know, big, big data sets and, you know, put, putting this in. And, and it's obviously a very um, uh, interesting uh, field. Um, but, yeah, rote learning. If you want to learn, you've got to learn all the names. First, you need to learn all the names of it, of the blocks. Then you've got to learn what they all do. And then you think about systems. Um and that's why I tend not to really focus too much on systems because I want to know the names of the blocks. <laughs> I don't want big gaps. You know, why wouldn't you want to know the names of the blocks? That's what I don't get. It's like, why, you know, it's, it's very unlikely you can, you know, unless you, you know, if you're, the way I see it is if you're smart enough to be able to prove that you can make the efficacy, uh, the efficacy, efficacy yeah, I'll go right, of the system um, higher, you know, like the highest, for instance, then how is it, um, then you could, you, you wouldn't even need to use any of the blocks, you could just do it all by a code. So it's like, it's like, what does it even, I don't know, I just want, it's just, it just confuses me that, you know, you could do it all by a code, but then it wouldn't look that great, but if you want things to look great, you're going to need to know the names of the items. 
because <laughs> you need to you know how to do it you know and then you, and then and then of course there's a thing you know you, you, with the design principles aren't they like you do odd numbers you do um you know like a tetrad or a triad or whatever they or um uh complement colors or something like that um so these are nether ores and um this is also these are lamps from uh Mary culture here uh Synthesizer. Uh, mm. Fill serum vials with liquid DNA at the expense of quality. Okay. I've uh, got this uh, some open blocks. This is a height map projector. Pretty funky interface. This um, you need to put it in, and it and it does a uh, does some kind of uh, kind of graphic work, um, which is cool. And you can inoculate. This is, I think, this is where, uh, yeah, containing alleles into bees, altering their genes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the chromosome is the variable name, and the allele is the um, parameter. Um, and I do wonder about the bees a lot. I mean, in a sense, I want to do it the normal way, but in a sense, I sort of feel that I could do it. This is always one of the problems. It's like I could do it the normal way, but I could cheat. It's so it's a very difficult problem to to decide what to do on that. Um, yeah. But we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I've still got multiple. Um, yeah, I've got multiple mods to do. So whether I get into that, so we've got replicator as well. I have to say though, I do like uh, copies of those from a sim vial to other empty serum vials. Yeah, so realistically, I could access probably many more of the bees than I would normally have access to. Because once I go past, um, you know, because obviously I've got meadows and forests, <coughs> and that will take me to um, um, common and cultivated. Um, but once I go past there, I think there may be, that's the thing, if it branches off into like multiple different directions there, um, it may be it may be a good method to see what the directions are first. You know, I mean, for instance, if you were um, trying to remember the, you know, if you were, you know, just say like a robot trying to remember numbers one to 10, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, uh, think about any, any kind of, you know, in, in you know actually how that would be done but if you were trying to do that um you know it would make sense to learn six seven eight and nine or you could learn three four but you know as long as you learn about four you know probably i would say between 30 and 50 percent of those numbers that are not one then when you go and start and you say right i'm going to start now i'm going to do number one then as the as the new things come in, this is this is sort of how I think about things. I think as the new things come in, then you can learn them uh, quicker, and then you know you can say, oh well, I kind of already know that one. Um, so yeah, but you can still but you still maintain the same uh, time frame. So that's how that will work. Um, do I have anything else here? I'm pretty sure I do, to be honest. That one didn't grow. <clears throat> I've got some funkier trees, but uh, I might check them out from above. Let me just uh, go above for a minute, just to see where I am. So what areas did I not check out? I was under the impression I had a load of chests around here. Did I not do that on this world? Maybe I didn't. No, I should. I think I did. Now here was all the um, ME stuff I didn't look at yet. But yeah, I mean, with this series, these are the uh, Harvest Craft candles. With these, um, with this series, um, you know, it's always difficult for me to know if I even want to continue the series because <laughs> I don't tend to do that that much. I may not. One way it's going to go is either I know either I want to continue a series like this and just do uh, incremental parts or. More likely properties, I'll just do um, the individual mods, uh, but just do it on this platform because there's plenty I've got to work with. Um, 
yeah, I mean, this stuff I've done before. I've got uh, plenty. I've got about five applied energistics uh, videos. Um, yeah, I didn't do this section, but um, I don't think I actually got. Did I, I might actually I did do that. I think you have to. We well, have to do that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's never, isn't it? It's, this mod's never really struck me as particularly uh, interesting. Um, but then again, I didn't find uh, logistics pipes that interesting either. Um, I have to admit though, I do like I do like the sound of that vacuum feature and, and thermal expansion. I do enjoy the process of sorting. Um, uh, yeah, is that really great like that? Interesting. Did I have any other? What was I, what was I, I don't know what I was thinking here. That's got no interface. Oh, we're there. Is that again? Maple from the Natura. I've got quite a lot of different trees here, really. There's willow wood. I just put down a lot of things I like. Remember, I think I used this in the first episode of Blood and Bones, the willow. Um, it's actually the only tree, really, uh, that has a functional use. And one of the things I know, especially when I did my growth craft video, is that um, is the growth craft seemed very, very interesting. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is a very interesting mod. That um, no, I've ah bibliocraft. There's a birch seat. Um, it was all this stuff. You can get all this stuff available in uh, uh, different colours. Interestingly, the um, the tool forge. If you look at the tool station. We've got access to fourteen, and the tool forge has got access to twenty. So the only things, well, the only things. Well, yeah, that's not difficult to. This was a funky sapling. I used some some slightly uh, funky saplings, and I ended up getting some interesting. Uh, Cross uh, cross breeding because I've never done that. I'd love to be able to be at that stage where it's like, yeah, you're in a hundred or hundred day of all the different bees and all the different trees. Um, I'm not sure about the butterflies though. What was that wood? Is that was the apple wood? Yeah, I like the apple wood texture. I was actually trying to get it to do. I did most of this with the uh, builder's wand. Um. But yeah, so I th think have I got anything here that I haven't really looked at yet, or have I just looked at everything? Yeah, and for some reason I put sand area. I did try and also um, you see this is desert here. Um, I tr I tried to pay attention to uh, well not river I suppose not desert that time, but for instance we've got uh, tiger somewhere around here. There it is. So I suppose I kind of had to. Um, and you can see uh, this is a block I've always liked to use in the angel block. Uh, that's a very, very, very cool block. But yeah, so I th think um, so. Like I said, I've actually I've actually gone through quite a lot of the stuff here. This stuff um, is going to be interesting. Um, I will save the recipes though for another time. Um, did I hide anything in any of these spots? I could easily have hidden something in here. But I kind of don't want to just go in and look because I can't even remember now. But yeah, so there we go. So that is going to be possibly the world that I carry on this series with. And it's kind of got like a... I don't know. It's, it's like, I, like, I like the irregularity of it. Um, I wonder if this was actually... Let's just check the dimensions of this. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be odd. But we've got to check anyway. 
Mm, well, I could almost say, well, yeah, that's the thing. Mm, it is seven, but it is six rather, but um, I could extend this further. And it kind of, it really was extended further. I kind of, to be honest, I kind of cheat a bit because by having two on this side, it means I can kind of almost do, do it either way. And I could probably get to an odd number quite easily there. Um, this this way would be harder. I wonder if I just, because I, I, I certainly wasn't, what's I going to do to, the, to that? Not much. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So with the slime block, I think it's thirteen. So that's actually, um, funnily enough, that's exactly the same size. Because um, one thing that I don't really mention that much, but well, I have mentioned it a few times. I like to, I, I basically want to do a thirteen by seven. That's one. I want that to be like the default size for uh, a house. One of the reasons I like it is because, of course, forty nine. Um, uh, Plus uh, 120 is 169, and 120 is about 11. So if I made it a four by, uh, if I made it, um, sorry, um, a 13 by seven by 11 house, um, or I could do the 11 in some other way. But you know, it'd be a nice thing. You know, it'd be a nice way to do it. You know, um, it's not well. It's not like a proper, like a proper triple sort of thing. But uh, uh, I don't know. It's all right. All right, so I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.